Yes, my people, what's good? This is the top 10 non-hype sneaker releases from 2022. Stick around to the end to see if you agree with the list or if I've forgotten anything out and you want to tear me a new asshole. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so at number 10 is the Sacconi Shadow 5000 End Fried Chicken. The upper features sort of a hairy and smooth suede to represent battered chicken, obviously. Even the box is made to look like a fried chicken box and you get that sort of red checkered paper. And, you know, I'll admit I'm not a mad fan of that sort of bone motif on the side panel, but I really love those fuzzy laces. So, you yeah, know, it's a solid effort, a nice shoe. Well done, Sacconi and End, and that's in at number 10. Okay, and at number nine is the Mizuno Pata Sky medal and this is obviously the third version we've had from Pata and Mizuno with the previous two being absolute bangers and this one doesn't let us down at all and this Pata Sky medal comes with ivory mesh underlays and then green and red leather overlays and then that really striking yellow tongue just to really set the whole thing off it's just a really nice like underrated shoe you know it's that got that retro 90s vibe it's Pata Mizuno are killing it and you know it's really hard to find a DS pair for under 300 pound now Okay, so number eight is the Asics Gel Light 3 Guadalupe Tropicalia. So Guadalupe is a Brazilian retailer that's got a long history with Asics. And this shoe sort of paying homage to the Tropicalia movement that sort of swept Brazil in the 1960s. And the colorway is influenced by the album cover for, let me get this right, uh, the album Akabu Chora by Novos Bianos. I hope I said that right. And you get that lovely golden embroidered branding of GDLP on the heel, as well as some pretty psychedelic insoles. I think a lot of people would agree this is definitely one of the best ASICs this year and one of the best non-hype sneakers to come out in 2022. Okay, so at number seven is the Tommy Trigger More Prime Industries Kangaroo Inside Job 1.5. So Tommy Trigger and More Prime actually released a kangaroo with the original inside job back in 2021. Yeah, and if you don't know, Tommy Trigger and More Prime, aka Morgan Weeks, are like really renowned sneakerheads, you know, sneaker bloggers, whatever you want to call them, that have been in the industry for years. And then back in August, they've released a new pair of the inside job with kangaroos, but called the 1.5. Uh, in two different colorways, so you've got the Saffron, which they only made 400 pairs, and the Moranti, where they only made 100 pairs. Uh, for me personally, the Saffron's absolutely kill it. And all being handmade in Germany is why they're, they're about 250 euros, 250 pound. Yeah, it's a banging shoe and that's at number seven. Okay, number six and the first Diodora on the list is the L'Original Bisu Made in Italy V7000. So L'Original, who's a Belgian sneaker like boutique and Selector Bisu, who's you know quite a, a well-known like, sneaker blogger. They've come up with this mad twist on a V7000, which released in September. September, I think this year. So the collab pays homage to the statement every day with strong intensity and passion, which is actually printed on the insoles as well. The colorway, as you can see, consists of sort of curry emerald green and that like camo fill on the Diodora stripes. And along with that, you've got the logos embroidered on both heels. I mean, you can see for yourself, it's just a, a crazy standout shoe and thoroughly deserves a place on the list. Okay, now number five is the Asics Gel Light 3, a few beauty of imperfection. It was actually released early on, I think in February this year, and really sort of set the tone, I think, for ASICs. You're starting the year off with a bang. Obviously, a few and ASICs have done some of the biggest collabs of all time with the like, red and orange Koi's. Uh, and the reason I like this shoe, even though it's actually probably still sat on a lot of sites, is that if you missed out on any of the Koi's, I feel like this is your runner-up prize. Uh, and saying that, it's a really lovely, like simple muted colorway. You can see, as always, I've done a lace swap, which I think works well. And the whole theme is based around the Japanese, like saying wabi-sabi, which is the beauty of imperfection. So you've got all these nice little details where it's like, you know, imperfect. Uh, and I just think that's mad. We've never seen, you know, the stripes actually been taken off the insides. You know, you get this nice bespoke stitching and that cork insole. It's just a solid special shoe. Basically because it's a few, it gets on the list at number five. Okay, so number four is the New Balance 2002R Basement in Moss Green. So as you might or might not know, Basement is like this online sort of fashion sneaker community that actually started life as a Facebook group uh, and have since just absolutely flourished and done some pretty high profile collabs. And this year they did a series of New Balance 2002 R's, first in a brown colorway, then the green, and just recently the white. But for me, the moss green colorway is just an absolute killer. It's something to do with the color blocking, the way they've done it, that green and black. 
Uh, it's really unique and got like sort of utilitarian army vibes to it. You can imagine walking around in like an old sort of thrifted army coat. And there's lots of nice little branded touches like where the end normally is on the throat collar, there's a B and sort of basement logos on the tongue and on the heel counter. Yeah, I mean, just fair play to basement. New Balance is still doing well, still killing it. That is just a really well executed, beautiful shoe. Okay, so number three might be a little bit contentious, but it's the Lecoq Sportif Hannon R1000 Circle of Friends. So Lecoq Sportif uh, teamed up with Hannon to celebrate the 30 years of Dynactif, uh, like sporting technology in this one-off R1000. All the shoes are completely handmade in France, which isn't something you get to say very often. And obviously Hannon have put their signature sort of blue tones on it, which they've obviously also done with Diodora and you know their Aces collabs and the woven lace is supposed to represent friendship. Yeah, you might be wondering why there's a, a Lecoq Sportif on the list, at number three especially, but I mean, it's just not every day, if not every year, that we get a half decent Lecoq Sportif collab, especially with Hannon. And then at number two, we've got the Diodora V7000, 24 Colettes, Friends for Life. 24 Colettes have done some absolute banging collabs with Diodora, namely the Toros and the Vino Virtus on the N9000. And then they haven't let us down with this version of the V7000 released, I think in November this year. So the name Friends for Life is based on sort of a theme song that someone produced for Barcelona Olympics in 92. And the actual overall aesthetic is based on a Barcelona mascot called Kobe. It's just an absolutely fucking mad neck breaking shoe. You know, everything from those different like orange and brown hues, the hairy horse like material, the beautiful suede, and that just sexy, sexy soul. That's still my favorite soul I've ever seen. It's gotta be the best Diodora to come out this year. Let me know if I'm wrong, and that's why it's at number two. Okay, so before we get to number one, I've just quickly got to do a few honorable mentions. So obviously we've had the A6 Gel Light 3, 100% uh, Sneaker La Tertaric, uh, which yeah, it's, it's a nice collab. I know a lot of people have sort of DM'd me about it and stuff because I haven't really mentioned it. It's all based around like Malaysian tea and, and I think that's a really big thing out there. Also got to mention the Foot Patrol Mizuno 95 Contenders. I just got these literally the other day and I'm buzzing. Just a beautiful shoe, Foot Patrol collab, celebrating their 20th anniversary, all based around football, the post-match pack. Uh, so it's you know made up of like football boot leather and this Iron Gate suede, pops of teal. It's just a stealthy killer. I don't think it's quite as good as the Pata uh, Sky Medal, but it definitely just wanted to give it a shout. And I've got to mention the Kangaroo uh, Selector Bisu Trout 2. So Selector Bisu, who I mentioned before on the Diodora made in Italy, he also collabed with Kangaroos on the second iteration of the Trout called the Trout 2. I think it recently just came out. They're a banging pair. I haven't seen enough of them yet. They probably should be on the list. And they actually feature real fish skin and only 500 pairs ever made. It looks like an extremely well-made pair of shoes. I'd love to get my hands on a pair and just thought they needed a shout. Okay, and the number one non-hype sneaker release for 2022, according to my humble self, is the A6 Gel Light 3 Atmos Sneaker Freaker Alley Cats. Now you know it makes sense, it's an undeniable shoe and absolutely beautiful and an absolutely monumental collab. You know, we've got Sneaker Freaker who've done the Alvin Purples and the Tiger Snakes, as well as Atmos who's done hundreds of Aces collabs, you know, namely the Duck Camos or the Midnight Tokyos, as well as all the different maps you can imagine. And when they come together, this is what we get the alley cats and not only is it just an aesthetically pleasing shoe to look at but it comes with a host of features including aluminium eyelets custom footbeds co-branded tongues and even glow in the dark tiger stripes and under the stripes they actually brought back that plastic lattice that they used to have on gel like threes back in the day as well as all premium materials including nubuck and hairy suede the color blocking as you can see is exceptional you know wherever you get gray purple and then hits of green it just works really well and that's why it's number one on my list so let me know in the comments what you think do you agree do you disagree did i miss something out am i a wanker big up yourself look after each other and i'll see you soon Bra